Good morning. I hope you're having a blessed Sunday morning. And I just wanted to start off and take this opportunity to go through a couple of announcements. The message and everything will be playing on a separate clip right after this. So it's one right after this, you'll see the message. But I wanted to cover some announcements. I always like to do this separately at certain times. This coming week, we're going to have a, we have a number of activities occurring. And one of the main ones is on Saturday, we can all get excited, get ready, get excited. We're going to have our contactless grab and go harvest festival, a contactless grab and go harvest festival. And it'll be from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. this Saturday. This is an opportunity to distribute some bags of candy to young people. And we're looking for people to volunteer. So if you'd like to come out and man a station, uh, give your name and information to Minister Mike, or you can send an email to the church's email address if you would like to do that. Volunteer. I'm asking each person to volunteer. Don't make me draft you. Don't make me recruit you. Volunteer. Do not come out if you have health complications. Stay home and stay safe. Don't come out if you're too afraid that something could happen. I want to make sure the elderly are protected. I want to make sure those that have health complications are protected and anyone who's vulnerable to COVID. And we can all come out and make sure we wear a mask to be protected. And we're going to be socially distant. As much as you want to hug somebody, don't do it this time. I love hugging. I instituted that at the church. We hug one another, but not right now. We're going to stay at least, I'm saying 10 feet apart, not six feet, 10 feet apart to make sure we're compliant. And we're not going to go in the building. It's going to all be outside. We're going to have one bathroom in the house set up to utilize in terms of if someone needs to use the restroom, but we're not going to go in the building. I'm still keeping that building locked down until things improve. But we do need assistance. And so if you want to come out and assist, give your name to Minister Mike or email info at mzbcministries.org. One of those two ways. We can have a strategy and planning session this week. I'm very big on being organized. So we can have a strategy and planning session this week. Outline exactly where we're going to stand, how we're going to conduct it, how we're going to do it. Because cars are going to pull into the parking lot they're going to, we're going to hand them the candy. It'll, the bag's already set, some of them. We're going to make more during this week. But Ms. Crenshaw did a wonderful job of doing 48 of them already. And then we'll, we're going to add on, because I went and ordered some additional candy that we need. And we're going to pack those bags, have them set, and all we have to do is distribute them. I'm going to go out there myself and do it. And I'm asking for some volunteers to do that and it's going to be a seamless line they can just drive through come get it and go right out that way it's safe and we're asking each person who drives through to wear a mask as well to stay protected be protected during this time and so we're just looking for people to participate in that and to dealing with that so if you want to participate give your name to one of the, one of those two ways and we look forward to seeing you Saturday. It's 4 to 6 p.m. We're going to meet Saturday at 2. So once you give your name, we're going to be two hours early. Set up, prepare, and everything to have a wonderful event. And pray for it this week. Pray for it. We can also give out information concerning the church and evangelism tracks so that we are able to reach the community. That's the goal. And feel free to bring your family and invite someone. Just make sure you give your name and the number of people that will come. We do not want to run out of anything. It would be terrible if we run out of the items that we need. And so we want to make sure we have enough for the Grab and Go Harvest Festival. And it's a good start in terms of community networking. Plus it's good because we have not all seen each other in a long time. And so we're looking forward to that and that occurrence on this week. So we're excited about the Harvest Festival. Also, keep in mind this week, there'll be an asthma seminar. Sister Taisha Gould is doing a seminar on for children with asthma. And we're asking all parents to come on board. Or anybody who's suffering with asthma, come and learn techniques and strategies for dealing with 
asthma. That's Monday at 7.15 p.m. And the Zoom link to it can be found on the Facebook page. The phone number can also be found on the Facebook page. It can also be emailed to you, and I'm going to see to it that a one call is sent out, and we can have an email sent out. Make sure we have your email address. Some people we don't have email addresses for, and one of the easiest ways to contact people is either by phone or email, and so we need to make sure we have email addresses for every person. If you don't know how to get to the church's Facebook page, go and look at the video I posted on this page this week on how to use online giving, I went through and recorded it myself on how to access the church's Facebook page is in there. It's in there as well. How to get to the church Facebook page. All you do is go to the church website, click that, click on the bottom icon, and it'll open up the Facebook page. Also, I went through and did, it's about a 10 minute demo on how to use online giving because I'm hoping that people will trust the church's website for online giving and so I went through and did that this week but you can access Facebook that way zoom lets you connect two ways video or audio so you can be seen if you want to be seen and if you think well I look a hot mess today you can get on the telephone and you can just dial you got two options so the days you say I'm looking good today you can get right on zoom via video. The days you're saying, I don't want to be seen, you can get on Zoom by dialing in, or you can even get on through your computer and just don't give your computer access to the camera on it so you're not seen, but you can hear everything. And when we get back, one of the first things we're going to do is have a training on how to do Zoom, how, how to use it, because I'm going to keep going, doing prayer this way, dialing in for prayer, I'm going to keep doing prayer this way. This has been effective. So this is something that's sticking with us. We're going to have online prayer where you can dial in or you can be seen if you choose to and pray. But we're going to keep that. That's staying with us going forward. I'm going to keep that prayer number permanently. We pay for it now, and I'm going to just keep it going forever where we keep utilizing that number. So remember that number. It's going to stay with us, and we're going to keep using it. There's also the Women's Book Club this Tuesday at 7.15 p.m. So remember the Women's Book Club and continue to support that, the Women's Book Club. On Wednesday, I'm having an investment club meeting. For all those people who chose to sign up, a copy of the bylaws went out and were distributed, and we'll have a meeting Wednesday after Bible study. Watch Bible study first. And to test people, but when we have that meeting after Bible study, the investment club, I'm going to ask some people, tell me what my Bible study lesson was about. And if you can't tell me, I'm going to click that the uh, boot button and put out the meet. No, I'm not going to do that part. But I want to know that we pay attention to Bible study, honestly. So I'm going to put us on the spot. After you view Bible study, which I'm going to do Wednesday, right after that, we meet for the investment club meeting. And that same link you use for the first Zoom call is still good for this one. And we'll just use that again. And the name I came up with, because no one submitted any names, so I'm calling it the Mount Zion Millionaires. The Mount Zion Millionaires. I always pick names of what I want something to be. you got to speak things into existence. You, you're going to even see with this message today. The power of, of I'm not going to give it away, but the power of certain things. I'll talk about it later. But... That's the name of the group, the Mount Zion Millionaires. The bylaws went out and the minutes, the note, the meeting notes of the last minutes. We didn't meet last Friday because everybody didn't get the notification. That's why I want people to learn to use the internet because the problem is if some people aren't online, they don't get the information. And I count on that people access it via the internet. So one of the things I want us to learn is how to use the internet Young and seasoned, I don't say old, seasoned, both classes learn how to use the internet. Because it's difficult to reach people when some people you got to call, some have to only get it that way. Some use email, some don't use email, some know how to navigate the internet. We need a central method of contacting people to make it easier. Some people's phone numbers change rapidly. They got a number, January, that number's gone by March. So we need a way a consistent way of contacting people. That's why for the investment club group, 
We need email addresses. It's easier to contact people when everyone has a valid email that they check. It makes it easier. Because sometimes we post things on the Facebook group. And I'm going to create a separate one for the investment club because that's actually not a church activity. It's actually its own thing. It's just for members. It's something I'm doing for the members. That's that's the one requirement I have. Be a member. So I love everybody, but I don't want an investment club of a thousand people outside. That That's too much to deal with. Right now, I want it to be the membership. That's all I'm doing it for. This isn't for profit. It isn't to make money. This is to help people make money and build generational, get on the track to building generational wealth. That's the goal. That's the goal. And so this is something that's only for the members of Mount Zion. That's my one requirement for that group. Keep in mind as well, Thursday is our men's seminar. Deacon Kearney has structured a wonderful seminar. We're going to talk about being a black man in America. And we're looking for every man to come on board for that. We're talking about being a black man in America during this time. And I'm going to make it plain. Being a black man in America during the time of a racist president. What it is to be black in this country. Any issues, concerns, challenges, the positives, the negatives, we can go through it all. And so we got a Zoom link for that as well to join all these activities to come on board for our men's ministry. And we're looking forward to that on this Thursday evening. And that'll be right after prayer. The women will have their fitness class. That's going to continue and, and on Thursday, and the men, we're going to have that session that we're going to have. Also, remember to vote. Remember to vote. I'm going to put on the back end of this message information about voting, but exercise your constitutional right and vote. Early voting starts. It's, you can already have voted, but there's a period where you can still do early voting from October 26th to November 2nd where you can go and do early voting. You don't have to wait till election day. You can go ahead and vote. And I'm laying out all the details. I'm going through the whole minutia in terms of on the slides. You're going to see slides that I put together, how to vote, how to find your local polling place, and the days and the times of voting. You're going to see it at the end of the sermon. This sermon was... Young Jeffries told me an hour and 15 minutes, so it's going to be part one this week. It's 40 minutes. You're going to see 40 minutes of the message, about 40, maybe 41 minutes, and somewhere in there. Then a benediction. This is part one. Then next week, you're going to see the other 30-something-plus minutes of the message. This is what God gave to me. It's a, long, it's, a, it's a long message, but it's a good message. It's very qualitative. It's full of what the Holy Spirit revealed to me and healing the family. And that's the focus God has me on, getting the family whole, making the family how it should be, making marriage what it should be, making parent parental relationships what they should be, spousal relationships, making extended families whole. Families are too broken, and we need healing. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is he's able to heal. He draws together, and he heals. And so we're looking for healing to occur in the family today. So be sure, watch the whole message. Don't just click on it and watch some of it and say, I'll look at it later. Watch the whole thing. And notice, I miss us having church service together. I miss that. Now moving on to the next stage of, I mean, if Sister Thomas and one or two people of praise and worship come in and record something, that's, that's going to occur. That's going to occur next. But as you see, coronavirus cases are ramping up again. We had the worst day ever two days ago in terms of record number of cases. And they shutting schools down in other states again. So we still trying to maintain safety. And we're not going to reopen until we are safe. But we still open. We just virtually open. The last thing I'm going to mention before I get to a scripture and a prayer, be sure to support the Thanksgiving effort. My goal this Thanksgiving is 250 families, 250 families. We're going to give out 100 lunches. That's already situated. We need to buy 150 gift cards. Donate to that effort. Give for Thanksgiving. If you don't tithe, give to that effort. If you do tithe, 
give to that effort. And if you don't tithe, start tithing. But give to that effort. That's my goal for Thanksgiving, 250 families. So if you know someone in need, give their name to Reverend Griffin and Dr. Hilliard. 250 families to be fed. That's my goal for Thanksgiving. And for Christmas, it's to deal with Angel Tree, where we each want to select a gift, or we want to be given gifts that they need, and we'll give them to them. That's the goal for Christmas. We are blessed, whether you know that, we are blessed. I was thinking the other day, I'm blessed. Sometimes I'll think about my plight. And you say, well, God, this happened and this and this. And God will let me know you're still blessed. We are blessed. And so we want to show our generosity to somebody else. Show our hospitality. Show our love. Show our Christianity to someone else. On this Sunday morning, I'm going to ask if you can just take a look at Psalm 29. This is the scripture I have for the day. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. And the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people and may the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. Amen. Lord, we ask right now for your divine blessings to rest on your people this day. We pray that you open the ears of every hearer right now. We pray, Father God, you touch hearts and minds we pray, Father God, right now for healing for all those who are infirm. Touch Barbara Brown right now and heal her body in Jesus' name. Touch Deacon Little right now and we pray you heal his body in Jesus' name. Continue to touch those who are sick, those who are struggling right now. Touch Sister McCormick right now, Sandra McCormick. Touch her body right now. Just continue to bring about healing to everybody, we pray, Father God, that you just sustain by your Holy Spirit right now. Keep by your grace right now. Keep by your power right now. And I pray, Father God, you to just transform mentalities right now as this message is watched. Heal homes right now. Heal families right now through the power of your Holy Spirit. And give the strength to those that feel weary. Give them strength to press on. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I hope this Sunday you have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. And after you after you watch the message, take some time and you should talk it you should talk it over. Talk it over with those in your home. And then make sure your children view children's church or teenage church whatever their age is. I'm going to tell you this, get it in them while they're young. Once a person gets grown and they set, they can still embrace God, but it's harder. You got to put it in them while they're young. You got to get them into the gospel now. You, you got to do it now. Later in life, it's possible. It's just tougher. You got to lay the foundation. You got to lay the foundation now. So haven't watched children's church, teenage church, and to see the youth ministry activities. We got youth ministry Bible study coming up. Have them become a part so that they know the stories of the Bible. And, and bring them out, as I said, this Saturday. And the good news, too, for the Harvest Festival, is, you know, I like quality things. I always like nice things. And I, I, I'm unabashed about that. I don't say, oh, I'll take anything. I'll take this, Lola. I always take the best. We got name brand 
candy. It's name brand. Snickers is not knockoff. No knickers. We got name brand. Kit Kat, Twix. We have name brand Reese's Pieces. I made sure we went out and got hundreds of dollars of name brand candy that we're going to give out. But we're going to aim to give the best and also make sure that we're able to touch lives and show the love of Christ. I hope you encouraged today. I hope you blessed today. And know that you loved, you're being prayed for. And God bless you this Sunday morning. Be blessed.